Thank you to everybody that's entered this competition. It's been absolutely overwhelming, really, to, to hear all of your work and see all of, all of your feedback online. It's been, you know, when we first started thinking about this competition about a year ago, we were like, OK, we'll, we'll, we'll do something small and maybe we'll get 100 entries. But we've had way more than that. And like the, the feedback and the kind of like encouraging comments that we've had, especially for our first competition, when we're not really sure what we're doing with this kind of thing yet, is, has been really cool to see. So like thanks to everybody that's entered uh, and shown us any kind of support because it's been really great to see. I also want to just thank anybody that's kind of entered that hasn't done this kind of thing before, because I've seen so many entries that's like, I've never done this kind of thing before. I've never entered a competition before. I've had some emails that's just like, I've, I've never even put a piece of work out there publicly. So this might have been the first piece of music that people have actually, you know, shown to the world. So just to those people that have like, had used this competition as kind of like a little push to get themselves out there, like, well done, top work. It's been really heartwarming to see all those entries. I also just want to say thanks to everybody that's kind of like encouraged each other in the YouTube comments and like, you know, on social media and stuff. When we've been going through all the entries, it's been really great to see the amount of like constructive appraisal and feedback that you've been giving each other. I know YouTube comments can sometimes be a little bit weird and a little bit sort of abrasive sometimes, but I've hardly seen any negative feedback. What I've seen is people encouraging each other. I've seen sort of like, I love your score. I love what you did with that piece. Like, well done, like really nice work like top work thank you very much like that's inspired me to to write something else so like yeah well done because th this kind of environment can be a little bit abrasive for people sometimes and especially for those people that are just getting into it so like if you've put any kind of like constructive feedback on other people's entries thank you very much because that's exactly the kind of environment we wanted to create for this competition just a huge thank you to the external judges we've had as well, Nanita, Chris and Kevin. They're all like full on working composers. They're all working on their own scores at the minute, up against tight deadlines, working late on their own work in studios and dub stages and all those kind of things. And just to be able to give their time and their experience and their ears to this competition has been, has been great because here we've got experienced ears and we like to think we know what we're listening for but those guys are in it they're working in it every single day on real movies on real films and stuff so like to, to have their expertise and ears on this competition we couldn't have done it without them basically uh, and they've picked up on stuff that we haven't listened to it's just like ah oh, you should have checked out this this little motif that that person done or she's done this really creative thing where it's gone from here to here and I've gone oh, okay oh brilliant that's highlighted something to me that I would I necessarily hadn't heard yet so just to have those ears has been has been you know absolutely vital to this competition to make it go ahead so like thank you to every single one of those uh, for being on board so if you've entered this competition, I really hope you've enjoyed it. I wrote this uh, script and we made this film specifically for this competition. And when I was writing it, I was writing it within a mind to making it quite a difficult score to make because there's quite a lot of heavy dialogue. And that's what a lot of people have found challenging about this is because the amount of dialogue, it's been hard to kind of like make your score weave in and around those moments. But in, in its own right, that's what's been really good for people is to have that challenge where you've kind of like, the, the music's got to be there and support what's being said, but at the same time, it's also got to push those emotions. And the people that have done really well in this and the, the scores where we've gone, okay, that's that's done it really well, are people that have successfully done that and, and their score has weaved in around that dialogue. It's pushed it where it's needed to, it's taken a back seat where it's needed to, it's done something you sort of like, it's done something that the film couldn't have done just sat on its own. So yeah, that's been the, that's been the interesting thing is to hear how people have, have kind of weaved their music in and around the dialogue. We had a total of 733 entries in the end, 100 of which came in on the last day, about 50 of which came in in the last hour. Uh, so yeah, well done to everybody for getting their score in on time. Uh, we listened to every single one and it took us about three solid days to get just down to a shortlist, let alone then listen again to all of those shortlist entries to decide uh, the final winner. It was interesting to see like where people had chosen to use a piano. Some people, uh, they, they only used the piano at the end credits where the guy, you know, was seemingly about to play the, the piano for the first time. And then there was 43 of you that didn't use a piano at all. So that was cool to hear. Just like, you know, interesting choice. We knew there'd be a few like that. And then there was one fearless person who chose to use a single piano chord at the closing credits. And the rest of the score up to that point was just ticking clock. So like super brave entry from that person.
There's an absolutely huge range of styles that we heard, like this more intimate and sparse one from Barney Morse Brown. To the more symphonic and epic entries we had like this one from Lush Crumb. It's this way or no way, Memento Mori. You are going to die. There was a really even mix of endings for all the entries in the end between like happy and sad. So we had ones like this optimistic and more upbeat entry from Alec Love. Just keep going. earnest and sad endings like this one from David Ellesmere. Just keep going. So if you've listened to more scores than your own, hopefully it's a useful reminder the power of music and the power that a composer has over the final result because, you know, just a simple chord change or a note change can change the, the, the idea behind a sentence and the feeling behind a scene. And the, an, another comment that we had is it's been nice to score a piece of film that has no reference. So like a lot of scoring competitions, you're rescoring a, a film or a scene that's already got music and you've already got an idea of maybe what should work in this. But with this film, there's no music at all attached to it. There's no reference, there's no temp track, there's no pre-existing music out there for it and that people have been able to come at it with completely fresh ears and kind of decide what to do with it themselves. So that's been an interesting kind of piece of feedback from the film that's been nice to hear. If you didn't enter the competition and didn't uh, download the file and you still want to get a hold of this, we've actually now given the file over to Brian at the QTube. So if you head over to that website now, you'll be able to download the file and kind of like give this a go in, in your own time. Uh, there's a link in the description if you want to do that. So just before I announce the winner and I've still got all of your attention, we would love to do this competition again, like run a different one next year. And we're in the early stages of planning that already. But what I'd like from you as, as, as people watching this is just any kind of feedback about how we could have done it better, how we can do it differently, how we can make it easier for you to enter. Uh, any, any kind of advice or feedback you've got for us, that'd be great. So use the YouTube comments below to kind of like start up a conversation between yourselves and between us about how we can make Make the next one better for you. So on to the five runners up and each one of these people is going to receive a copy of Lost Piano which is the latest sample library we've released in tandem with this competition. And with each one of these scores there was something individual, something unique about them. They've all come at it with their own voice and approached it differently but they all still feel right for the film which has been interesting to hear that these different approaches can still feel right for the same material. So congratulations to each and every one of you. I'm not going to play them in any particular order but you'll see on screen some of the judges comments, some of the thoughts that we've had behind why we've chosen these people. So congratulations to every single one of you. So let's hear them now. I've been searching for a decade or more. Where did those years go? When was I last here? It doesn't look the same. It looks older. <laughs> Maybe it's just my eyes that are older. There's always this music I can hear. I've heard it so many times, but it n never sounds the same. I'm not sure anyone else can hear it. I'd like to think it's just for me. Let me tell you about my mother. I tried to listen to every word she had to say. But now, 
It's only now she's gone. I can hear every word too. She always told me the truth. It was a different kind of honesty. She once told me, Memento Mori, remember you're going to die. I spent too long listening to people tell me that I can't do what they never could. Too long suffering imagined troubles and fearing a future that would never become the past. Time is infinite. But my time, my time is not. I'm nothing left to lose. I'm tired of being afraid. It's this way or no way. Memento Mori. You are going to die. Until then, just do the right thing. Just keep going. So well done to every single one of you. Absolutely brilliant work. You can hear like exactly what's gone into it and you can hear your voice in there as well, which was the most important thing that none of them feel generic. Every single one of them feels like you're coming at this with your own heart and your own voice. So that's been the, the, the best thing to hear is that, you know, you've put yourself in those scores. So well done. Should we do the winner? This score came in about an hour before the deadline. At that point, we thought, you know, there's, there's, there's loads of entries in there that are already, you know, worthy of being a winner. And then this score came in and we were like, oh, OK, that's really good. We need to put that on the shortlist as well. And the, the more and more we listened to it, the more and more it felt like exactly the right piece for the film. And I, that's the way I would describe it. Is it just feels right for the whole film. There were scores that were similar, but none of them felt exactly the way this one did. And the more and more we listened to it, the more and more it just felt like exactly the right fit for it every single moment feels perfect it's a very understated very subtle score and it's full of restraint it holds back in exactly the right moments but it then pushes forward in the right moments as well and i think that's exactly the reason all, ju all the judges chose it as their winner because it's just it's just the right score that's all we can describe it as so the winner of the lost piano scoring competition is joe collier so congratulations, Joe. Absolutely brilliant piece of work. We all love listening to it time and time again, and everybody thinks it's exactly the right score to be the winner. Chris has said, I love the restraint that Joe shows in this piece. You could have built up some of these sections and they could have still worked, but I can tell the care he took to only use what was necessary. Bravo. Nanita's thoughts were beautifully executed. This piece is sensitively crafted around the story in an immersive way that carries the narrative forward. Interesting harmonic string sequence that mirrors the poetry of the script. Very well produced and overall tonal sound. And Kevin said, this piece is my absolute favourite. Well done on all levels. Everything was so tastefully placed and thoughtfully crafted. This score has exceptional storytelling and I felt the most connected to the pianist from this submission. So as you can tell, Joe, all of the judges thought your work was exceptional and exactly the right winner for this competition. So congratulations again. Uh, we're going to play the film now with your score uninterrupted so everybody can hear it. So sit back, watch, hear, enjoy, listen to this score because it's absolutely beautiful. Here we go. The winner of Lost Piano Scoring Competition, Joe Collier. I've been searching for a decade or more. Where did those years go? When was I last here? It doesn't look the same. It looks older. <laughs> Maybe it's just my eyes that are older. I never could find any words on these pages. Only lines. I'm not sure words would be of use to me now anyway. There's always this music I can hear. I've heard it so many times, but it n never sounds the same. I'm not sure anyone else can hear it. I'd like to think it's just for me. Let me tell you about my mother. 
I tried to listen to every word she had to say. But now, it's only now she's gone, I can hear every word too. She always told me the truth. It was a different kind of honesty. She once told me, Memento Mori, remember you're going to die. I'm not sure what matters anymore. What does any of this matter? I've spent too long listening to people tell me that I can't do what they never could. Too long suffering imagined troubles and fearing a future that would never become the past. Time is infinite. But my time, my time is not. I could leave life right now. I don't want to be scared of this anymore. I've nothing left to lose. I'm tired of being afraid. It's this way or no way. Memento Mori. You are going to die. Until then, just do the right thing. Just keep going. Absolutely brilliant score. I hope you all agree. That's a really, really worthy winner. And like I said, it just feels like it's right for the film. It feels like part of the same experience. And that's what a score should be. That it's this whole kind of piece of work that sits together alongside each other. So well done again. You are going to win either a $250 or 250 euro gift card to Sweetwater or Tommen. You're going to win everything that we've made so far. So all of our current sample libraries and everything we're making next year. So we'll be in contact about that shortly. Well done to everybody that's entered this competition or, or shown any kind of encouragement for it because it's been brilliant to listen to every single one of your scores. Like I said at the beginning, there's so much talent, so much effort being put into this competition. It's just such a, a been a, a nice experience to be to be helming this competition. And as I said, we're going to do another one next year, but I need your feedback. I need your comments and your ideas about how we can make it even better than this one. So please leave your comments and your ideas, suggestions in the comments below. But that's it. I'm done for the year. I'm going. I'm off for a beer. I hope you're all well. I hope you enjoy whatever you're doing uh, for the rest of this year. And uh, I'll see you in 2022. Thanks very much and take care. Bye.